So this is going to be a quick little lecture on what a lung point looks like in the setting of pneumothorax. So remember this is the basic anatomy of lung ultrasound in the sagittal plane. Um, you see the skin, then the sub -Q, then you go through the pecs, then the intercostal muscles, and the most important part to look at is the pleural line. And here you see sliding and some comet tail artifacts coming off the lung. So if you see that, you know there is no pneumothorax. Now if you don't see that, you have to move to the next step and look for the lung point. And here is what a lung point looks like. If you look at the image on the left, you do not see sliding on the right, but you see lung coming in and out on the left. And that corresponds with the CT image on the right where you see the lung kind of coming in and just barely touching the pleura. So if you put if you move the ultrasound probe after you see an initial lack of lung sliding laterally and posteriorly, you will get eventually to a point where the lung is making partial contact with the pleura, like in this case. Now this is an interesting uh, ultrasound because you also see B lines that obliterate the A lines, and that's because you can this little kiddo had pulmonary contusions right here. Here's what it looks like um, when you compare M mode. You see the stratosphere sign here. This is where you're not getting sliding and the lung comes in. You get that nice waves on a beach appearance, then it comes out, stratosphere sign, waves on a beach appearance. And this is just comparing in the same patient x-ray. In this case, you actually see it up here. And then of course you see it very quickly and easily on ultrasound. And then on CT, which is the best imaging modality, you of course see the pneumothorax, but you can't get the CT done.